Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. We have warmer weather. We have everything outside. My starters, my herb bed, never did a thing. They sprouted and never grew. It's got to be the coconut. I did put fertilizer in here, but I think it was too late. Melanie's plants are starting to do better. So hopefully, hopefully we're learning here. In this harsh environment where we live it's a very harsh environment so we have to take them in at night and put them out in the day there's it just gets too cold at night still now there's a site guys you know what that is why does this always look zoomed this camera has a horrible range of view got them really 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 cheap treated lumber so that is going to be for our fence, finally. The, uh, I got some fruit trees on uh, sale. And th there's actually peaches growing on this one. On the peach trees. The apples have a lot of blossoms, but they got ripped up bad on the tra in the trailer on the way here. That's not my trailer. But there's some new blossoms, so I think... Oh, it's windy. Um, it might have fruit. Oh, the peach is still fruiting. The peach is still blossoming, too. Nice. I can't tell what I'm seeing. I don't like the display on the cannon, but there, the, the apple can still have some fruit, so that's going to be okay. And we have a cherry. Or is this the cherry? No, this is a... This is the cherry. It has no blooms, no blossoms yet. Just in case somebody has seen it. I know somebody has seen it, for sure. The mill is up by the house. I'm doing some work on it, and uh, it's safer up here. There was some talk about it, so I pulled it up by the house. And I'm doing some spring maintenance work on it, where I can better protect it. So, a lot is going on. I wasn't feeling so hot. Spring is always hard for me. I get sinus pressure. I don't know. Some, if you know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you'll never understand. I got this the other day for the tractor. You drive the tractor backwards, scoop up your dirt, lift it up, and go and dump it. I love it. It's going to be awesome for the garden. Over here, we bought a greenhouse on Amazon. And it was absolute garbage. It self-destructed before we got it done. So that's got to be dismantled. Yep, that's going away. Yep, that's got to go. <laughs> She's a comedian now. So that's going to go. I'm going to use the scoop, uh, my new scoop. And I'm going to take all the topsoil that we've amended through the years off of here. And I'm going to pile it up somewhere else. And then I'm going to take the tractor and level this ground out and finally have a level... Uh, garden. Now we got some soil here. It's been a while since I've recorded anything but it's also been a while since I was out. I'm walking, I'm working, just gotta take it slow. I've been mulching using our mulch pile. Over here, Melanie your topsoil, give that to your mom please. Take that bag. Your, your topsoil bags are flying away from you. Um, I mowed the old mower, the old self-propelled -propel Toro mower, I uh, primatered a few times, gave it a pull, and it ran. I love this thing. So I'm mowing around some beds. I think I'm going to run out of time here. It's going to rain on me. This was when our first year here. I brought in... Boy, this camera looks zoomed in all the time. There's nothing I can do. The... Uh, I brought in 21 pickup truckloads of aged uh, composted leaf and uh, soil stuff. And this is all that was left. And berries, strawberries grew in it. So we left it. And then we planted some more. And then raspberries grew up all the way around the thing. So it must have been some raspberries in it. There's two different kinds of berries here. And last year, this was a wild mess. Um, that was a sand pile from a couple years ago, which turned into a wild strawberry patch. I'm not going to disturb it. 
it grows and they're amazing. Wild strawberries are super sweet. So I just mowed this all the way around and I moved out, I dug out some raspberries that had grown where I was going to put a pathway and I'm going to transplant them. But I mowed around so now we can access these all the way around this little berry patch. Last year we couldn't get back here, it was too dense and there were ticks everywhere. And then I just mowed here around my my other berry bed. So I can't see my display. The cannon is good quality, but I can't see the display. Are you helping me? Or are you helping your mom? Are you helping yourself? Uh-huh. She wants to be in the video. So Oh, by the way, it's warmer weather. Everybody's out. So right now I'm gonna do right now, and I forgot to grab it. I am uh, working on my trees. The animals have eaten off the the deer got to this one, and I'm really frustrated because that's the only thing that grew last year. This whole tree died, and that was all that grew is from the base. Yes, Michelle, that's it. And Michelle and I, she did help. We put um, protective mesh around these trees. This one is alive. And that one is one I saved. I still can't see where I'm pointing. That one is one we saved from one of the trees up there that grew on its own. And in here we did the same. You can see that sadly the rabbit has been having his way with it. And I'm very frustrated. And this is recent. Very recent. It's very, very annoying. Um, it is alive. It is going to grow. But it lost a lot of meat here on top. And that's annoying. So... Um, here he cut one here 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 here. I mean really annihilated it So I'm going to keep her protected now and we stake that in now I've got some more of these in my fencing. We're going to put up this spring. I've got s Some more of these I'm going to open them up and and uh, take two to make one because over here I Want to protect this one this one is coming back finally um the tree itself died uh, from a deep freeze a few years back. But what's coming up, and of course the animals are mowing it down. I'm really upset. They're, they're mowing down on it. So I'm going to protect this, um, what's alive. What's coming back is from the rootstock and survived this past winter. And I'm guessing it's going to be more hardy than the tree that was up here, which is now going to be nothing but uh, compost. I'm leaving it for now though, just to mark the tree very well, and I just don't have the heart to cut it down. It's not really shading anything, so that's fine. But anyway, I'm going to protect that with this wire mesh. We are recording, just so you know. I don't think they can hear your fingers moving. Huh? No, I don't think they can hear your fingers moving. You gotta talk to people if you wanna say something. So these I got for free. I don't even remember where last year I got them for free intentions of doing what I'm about to do right now with them. I'm going to double them up and turn two into one. And then, let me see. We're going to make turn two into one here. And then uh, put it around that tree, keep the animals off it. Yes, that tree. My bike up Well, it was a big tree. Bye. I had a bad winter. Bye. You can't pee that bear. I can't your feet. I'm going to protect the tree with this so the deer can't eat it. Bye, the big? Yeah. So, anyway, I've. Spring is always hard on me, and I was hurt. I'm getting around good now. Um, my leg is still a little bit weak, but other than that, 
I'm doing good. My arm still hurts. I don't know if it's ever going to get better. But, uh, like, pushing on this wire with my, with my hand hurts my arm. I really messed it up this winter. So now I'm slower. So I, I want to make regular videos, but if I'm not doing anything, if I'm just uh, recovering, there's not a lot of action for you to see sometimes. See, this is this one. I'm going to cut this one the same way, Michelle. We're going to cut it right across down the end. And I'm going to pause the camera. They don't have to watch me cut all this. That could be boring. But we'll be back in a minute. All right, I got one separated. Yeah. Well, I got two separated. I'm gonna combine them here now. Right, Michelle? Two. two. We got two. Two, two like this. Yep. Yeah. Yes, you just got another one. Yeah, I, I, you're right, I do, because there's only one left, and we need to make that one into two to yeah. make it bigger. Yeah. yeah, that's the only one left. Oh, no. Yep, there's three, you're right. Michelle can count now. Uh, yeah, this is gonna work when I'm done. I've gotta bend these together. What? Oh, that's a flower. I'm recording. Oh. What's up? Anything private? Go inside. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to rain in a minute anyway. I'm on borrowed time. I'm going to protect the tree because the deer are munching on them. Making snacks out of my trees. Anyway, I'm going to combine these together. Protector. Awkward because they're so tightly wound in the previous life that they had. Get it done, I'll rewind it or I'll rebend it in a circle again better. I get those. Well, I'm going to finish winding that together. Might have to put the camera down. It's getting really dark. I have to break it out anyway. I just made a round circle to go over a tree that's too big. It's really bad. It's decaying. There's no point in keeping that anymore. Because i got to protect the little guy that's coming up from the ground. You can see how rotted it is. It'll be fertilizer for another grow bed later. That's fine. Hopefully I can get this on without hurting anything. the little guy. Perhaps I can come back this way more. Okay. That should work. No, nothing's going to eat it. Not rabbits, not deer. 
And the only problem is I can't bend down too bad, too much yet with this leg. Still a little stiff. Oh, that's tight. Pound it in some. Now oh, that one's ready. Yeah, that'll stop the deer. I uh, originally I had electric fence wires running square all the way around, but then the deer learned they could jump around it, the fence, and they still got to it. And then the rabbits just don't care. They were going under it. I can't have that. I want to keep my food for me. Here the deer did extensive damage to my poor little tree. Ate off all the, the limbs. It's so sickening. It's just, I don't have a chance out here. If it's not the weather, it's the animals. It's brutal out here. Trying to nurse these trees to life and keep them. The, the, the freeze killed the whole top again. And all I've got is that little branch left, and it, it, it was growing beautifully, but the deer ate everything off, and now it's got to start over again. It's so sickening. So I'm going to put up another ring. I found a bale of wire, also from that place where I got for free. I'm going to put another ring up here. I uh, straightened it out pretty much, and that's going to be another one. Uh, this tree also had trouble with wind damage a uh, while back, so it's had a lot of troubles in its little life. Saved a little guy. Yeah. It's hard to grow anything out here. Uh, between the weather and animals, I'm telling you, it's it's really a problem out here. It's insane. The winters are harsh here. We're uh, between zone four and zone five, and sometimes I'm thinking it's zone nothing is going to grow here. This was very nicely mulched last year and uh, then I put straw around it in the winter to protect it. I mean we really worked on them last year trying to protect them from the elements and then the deer countered my electric fence, got in and realized they could just duck under or jump over, I'm not sure, and they ate that to nothing. It's really frustrating. I'll keep trying. I just keep trying and trying and trying. So that's what's left of that one. That's totally safe now. And I took all the electric fence wire away from that. There's still f uh, wire around all the perimeter of the property. All the perimeter. And then I fenced in this one. This one I don't know what's left. I think just the little stem on the bottom which the deer ate off entirely. I am so upset. This little guy 
I just put all the rest of the wire around the base of that to keep the rabbits off because they're nibbling on it. But it is growing. This one is a tougher plant. So eh, we'll see what happens. We do have freezing nights coming again, so I'm probably going to have to wrap that because we always lose the tree buds right after they start to grow. It's typical. I have a mulberry that keeps trying to grow and animals keep eating it down. Uh, and it keeps dying off every winter. I'm probably going to transplant it into the greenhouse when I get a greenhouse going. Mulberry is my favorite thing, but uh, it's just it's too, too brutal here. It's too harsh. So I have a, an herb bed here where stakes all through where I planted herbs. Some survived, some didn't. I'm going to heavily mulch this ground because a lot of unwanted stuff grows here. And I don't want that anymore. I want to heavily mulch this. And then um, maybe have a pathway down the middle or something or stepping stones or something. I don't know. But I don't want the um, nature to take over. It's hard. Nature grows no matter what. Everything I plant dies if you look at it wrong. It's really weird out here. It's harsh. Well, anyway, then I've got two little guys that I planted from this tree. Remember, I pulled out the roots from this tree and put them in pots. And they're alive. Ooh, that one's just tempting nature by pushing outside the fence. Come on, little guy. Don't do that. Don't push outside the fence. I'm sorry, the camera is terrible. I can't see my display on this camera. So that one's uh, just tempting the rabbits by pushing outside. Let me see if I can get this higher. Not really good. I I'm sure I'm not showing you what I'm trying to look at. Well, anyway, that one's growing. It's got nicely. This is actually fully budding out. So uh, I'm surprised. These are these are hardy little trees. Whatever came out of the root of that one, they're hardy little trees. And here is the biggest of them all. And I just put I just staked this up with stakes because it kept getting blown over by the wind. It's too tall. And um, yeah, the rabbit didn't get to this one. It's growing out, so that'll grow. I don't know what it is. It's an apple tree that came off the base of this one. You guys may remember I uh, pulled it right out and then planted it in pots and it grew. Or them, I should say. My herb bed was an absolute success. Grew all winter. Nothing totally died, actually. Things, especially the English thyme, which is bushy and cascading beautifully down here. Just, I can smell it. I love it. So, boy, this camera. It seems like it's zoomed in. It's got a horrible focus, uh, field of range uh, view. Here is uh, another one. And here's another one just, that's two of them that combined into one. And here's another type. So that really turned out. There's an oregano, a couple of oreganos, another. So that, that turned out beautiful. And then this one got brutalized by the animals. This is another one of those I took off from that tree down there. Ate off, ate off, ate off, ate, ate. So it lost a lot of energy and uh, strength. It's gonna have to start over again from the bottom, of course, really frustrating. I got another one, he was smart. He hasn't budded yet. Um, I think it's alive. I'm not sure, I guess we're gonna find out. You might remember I, I saved these and I mulched them heavily and I put the netting around, the, the wire, but it kept falling over so I just staked it up. And this tree is just, mulch, it's just compost. This tree died right the first winter here, sadly. It wasn't meant for this zone, so there's nothing I can do. Well, guys, I'm going to clean up, but, uh, well, I've got fence to get up. I've got a lot to do now that I'm walking again, <sighs> but it's dinner time, so that's it for tonight. Now, I do have a bucket for the tractor, a rear bucket with dump. That's going to be awesome, really awesome. I'm excited about getting that going. But i got to get my steering fixed. I'm going to do that next. I won't show it on camera because I don't know what I'm doing. The steering is a little bit dry inside. I think there's no oil. 
I'm going to mess with that next. And then uh, that's it for the night, guys. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Spring is here at the homestead. Talk to you all later.